Under Alabama rape law, what does forcible compulsion mean? Well, rape is sex with a woman that's accomplished without her consent or without her ability to consent. And there's three types of forcible compulsion that we talk about in rape cases. Forcible compulsion generally means either physical force that overcomes some form of earnest resistance. So, hey lady, he's holding her down and he's, you know, he's forced to accomplish the, um, the rape or a threat. And the threat can be an express threat. Guy holds up a knife. He doesn't have to say, I'm going to rape you, but that threat can be enough. Um, or it can be a, a uh, threat that places not only the person who's the victim, but another person or the victim in fear of immediate death or physical injury to themselves or to another person. So if a fellow says to a woman, give me what I want here, or I'm going to pour acid on your baby, that would be forcible compulsion. There's a third type of forcible compulsion that sometimes people find confusing, and that is what's called a person in authority form of forcible compulsion. And in that situation, a authority figure, and this applies to children when it's a rape involving a child, somebody who's deemed an authority figure by virtue of their authority can be viewed as using forcible compulsion, that is their authority, to have a young person submit to the sexual act constituting rape. So it can be a babysitter, it can be a coach, it can be, you know, whatever, a karate teacher. If their position of authority is used to engage in sexual activity with the child, and the, the, the child may not uh, do the type of denial that normally, but their, their free will is overcome because of that authority. At any rate, I hope that neither you or anybody in your family is charged with this or any other crime. But if you are and you want our help, just give us a call here at Siegel & Siegel. Our number's below. Thank you for watching.